Beijing says a new type of major country relationship not only benefits China and the U.S. but also serves to reassure the entire world. The idea goes like this: world peace depends to a large extent on whether there is lasting peace between major countries. But in history, major countries, especially emerging powers and established powers, were likely to engage in competition and end up in confrontation or even conflict. China, however, says it does not subscribe to such a pattern. Beijing has stressed that it has the resolve and confidence to prevent and break the so-called pattern through working with other major countries, including the U.S. The term of a new type of major country relationship is concise, but with rich meanings. It's not a tag, but offers a guidance. In the current world of multipolarity and globalization, no single country can develop by itself without inclusiveness and cooperation. No matter in what expression, it's important to know that as long as China and the U.S. do not go the old way of conflicts between a rising power and an existing power, they have to build a new type of major country relationship. In June 2013, after a meeting at Annenberg Retreat, California. Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Barack Obama endorsed this new type of major country relationship. Over the past two years, the world's two biggest economies have been making progress in this regard, maintaining the momentum in developing bilateral ties despite occasional disputes and frictions.、Uh, I think、uh, the achievements that we have、uh, accomplished in the last few years on cooperation on major issues. Uh, really focus, especially on climate change, where three years ago we were very far apart on the issue, and now、uh, we seem to be in a much better place on it. And our cooperation on that issue is of fundamental importance to the global future.、Uh, I think the Iran nuclear deal also highlights、uh, an area where the U.S. and China could cooperate as members of the P5 plus one, and prospectively now、uh, have an agreement that will. Uh, 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 make the Middle East a much safer place,、uh, at least for the coming ten years or so. That's very important. No doubt, disagreement remains, but experts and officials say the two countries have plenty of shared interests, and their relationship may not necessarily be a zero-sum game. Take an objective look at the China-U.S. ties. We have to admit that the two countries is very different from each other and have many differences, disagreements, and sometimes even frictions. When existing differences have been overcome, new ones will arise. This is also normal. The key to keeping U.S.-China relations on a healthy, stable, and sustainable development track is to step up cooperation in light of growing common concerns and interests, while managing differences in a constructive way.、Uh, there are other areas clearly where our relationship has become more tense and more worrisome,、uh, rather than better. But the goal is to、uh, to have the confidence and the、uh, degree of mutual understanding. To be able to find ways to reduce the chances that those other frictions will escalate in the state visit itself, part of this visit will be something that doesn't produce concrete announcements,、uh, but it's a serious discussion of strategic issues of mutual concern between the two presidents. I think they'll have ample opportunity to do that, and it's that deeper. Mutual engagement on these issues、uh, that can be critically important、uh, as both sides manage、uh, their positions with each other and with allies and friends、uh, as they confront、uh, major concerns in the region and globally. The upcoming state visit by the Chinese president to the U.S. is expected to give another push for forging a new type of major country relationship. Just as the Chinese foreign minister had said. Positive interaction and mutually beneficial cooperation between the two countries are absolutely possible and necessary. China is the biggest developing country, and the United States is the biggest developed one. Relations between the two countries go far beyond bilateral context and take on a global strategic implication. China and the U.S. working together benefits both countries and the world at large. Frictions in relations undermine both countries' interests and affect the wider world.